Hi, and welcome to the first tutorial on JMARS. This tutorial will be going over how to download, install, and use JMARS, as well as going over the toolbar and some basic things you see when you open JMARS. The first thing you want to do is open an internet browser and go to our homepage, which is jmars.mars.asu.edu. When you get here, you'll see a couple of different things. But if you go over to this area called Login, you'll see an area where you need to create a new account. In order to get the full capabilities out of JMARS, you need to have a username and password. So you can create that right here by clicking the Create New Account. After you've set up your account, you can go to the JMARS Public Downloads, which is right here, and download a platform of your choice. For this tutorial, we'll be using JMARS. And here we currently have a JMARS edition and a JMARS beta edition. So I'm going to actually click on the beta version, but it's up to you whichever platform you want to download. So you click the one you want, and you'll see that it's downloading, and it'll pop up with your username login. Here we go. So now you're going to put in your email and your password, which you just set up in your new account. Press enter. Here we go. And you'll notice on your left hand side you'll see that there's a red box and a green box. If it's a green box that means the layer is ready to be used and it's uploaded onto your layers. And if it's not, if it's red or yellow, that means it's not done. So just give it a second. When it turns green it'll be ready for you. So the first thing you might notice is that you're seeing two different screens. You have this big screen which is called your main view on top and this little screen which is called your panner view. Your panner view is basically a wide angle camera so it gives you a little bit more surface to look at. Over on your left hand side you'll see this area called main. This is your layer manager and we'll be going over the layer manager in another tutorial but basically this is an area where you can add, delete, and edit different layers onto your surface. Now if you go up to this area where you see the pointer, this is called your toolbar. So there's several different ways to do different things in JMARS. For instance, if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can click on either the magnifying glass to zoom in and click your screen. Or you can go over to this zoom pull down menu and this is in PPD, pixels per degree. Every time you open a new browser, it's going to be set to 32 PPD by default. But you can click it and change the zoom level to whatever you want. If you go smaller numbers, you're zooming out. If you go bigger numbers, you're zooming in. So for this purpose, we'll go back to 32. And it works. Now, if you didn't want to use those two methods, you can also go up to the tools on the main menu bar. And you'll see that there's a zoom in, a zoom out, a measure, which is your ruler, also on your toolbar, your investigation tool, which is right here on your toolbar. And then there's little shortcuts if you see this up arrow and the letter. That will also do your zooming in and your zooming out. So there are several ways to do it. If you move on to the glove on your toolbar and click it and then bring your mouse down to your screen, this is a nice way to move around the surface. So if you click your screen and hold it down and pull in whichever direction you want, it'll move your location. If you go to this little ruler and click the ruler, this is a nice way of measuring things on the surface. So for instance, let's measure this crater. You're going to click it and hold it down for it to work and then pull it however far you'd like to measure. And then if you look in your bottom left hand corner, you'll see the area called distance and it gives you the distance that you've just measured with your ruler. The last thing on the toolbar is the investigation tool. You can use this to click on different things and it will give you information on it. Well, that's it for the first tutorial. Thanks for joining me.